If there are explosives planted in the cabin, we must find them. seems too quiet. Keep watch while I look around. some cigarettes a packet of Argentinian cigarettes this is no coincidence fortunately nothing here is set to explode gentlemen I can't carry this burden anymore we should come clean and go to the police Otto we cannot trust anyone in uniform neither blue nor brown we've outlived our usefulness to the brown shirts they want us dead they're coming after all witnesses you said so yourself it's a brave decision, Otto. I'll stand by you no matter what. This is all my fault. I'll notify the police and take the punishment. Could you help Otto back to the hotel, Anna? Bring him to the fireplace room. He's really shaken up. Have a seat, Otto. Are you all right? Oh, Anna. I, I, I have been such a fool. I'm just grateful to have you and Gerhard stand by me. Otto, I want to ask you something. Do you trust Gerhard? He's a determined man. He always delivers on his promises. I have never had reason to question Gerhard's loyalty. How long have you known him? Uh, about ten years. We became friends after he supported me through my grief after the war. That conflict left scars on all of us. I know you trust Gerhard, but there's something bothering me. Do you know if these cigarettes are his? Well, I've never seen this brand before. They are from South America. I have a theory. I need to check Gerhard's room before he gets back. It's upstairs, isn't it? Yes, but... What do you expect to find in his room?
found an ID card. The ID says... Gerhard Wagner, member of the Sturm of Thailand since 1923. I should have known. Gerhard is a member of the Brown Shirts. And here's the proof. I need to warn Otto. The police will be here soon and... Oh no. Gerhard won't go to the police. He'll try to escape. I can phone the police from reception. I'm on to him. That man is unpredictable and dangerous. I need to find something to defend myself, and fast. I think I saw a gun in room number eight. Luckily, Gerhardt didn't get to this weapon first. Now what? Think, Anna, think! Wasn't there a radio in the nearby room? I could send an emergency message. the radio. That's it. I just need to set up the radio on that table. Now, what's the correct frequency? Anna, Anna. I underestimated you. I should have killed you instead of Lance. You monster. What have you done to Otto? Oh, he's alive for now. There's still unfinished business between us. Now, hand me the gun. You won't be needing it. Don't try to escape. Give me the gun. Turn around. Start walking back to Otto in the fireplace room. Move. And don't try anything clever.
What kind of twisted joke is this? Gerhard, put the gun away. Sit back down and shut your mouth, friend. I've grown tired of pretending to care about your nostalgic stories. One bullet should solve that. Have you gone insane, Gerhard? Stop this. No. Stop bossing me around, you old fool. You've been useless to this business from the very beginning. He's... What? I found ID documents in his room. He's been leading this operation. Shut up. The explosion has alerted the police. No time for last words, darling. I'll make this quick. Anna, no! <laughs> oh! Otto is bleeding to death. There must be a first aid kit in the reception. Hold on, Otto. I'm opening the first aid kit now. I need to check his pulse. I should clean the wound with antiseptic liquid. Now I need a cloth and some bandages. Thank you, Anna. Hurry, bring a rope from the kitchen to tie Gerhardt up. I'll watch him. Just pass me his gun. Gerhardt might wake up at any second, Anna. Please, look for a rope in the kitchen. I need a strong rope to tie Gerhardt up. He's still a threat to us. a rope. That'll do the trick. I should hurry back. Please tie Gerhardt up with the rope. So, Gerhardt was in the Sturmabteilung the whole time. 
And I opened my heart and my home to him. I'm so sorry, Otto. He took advantage of your friendship. Ten years I've been a friend to him, only to be stabbed in the back like this. What a horrible world we live in. Listen, I hear police sirens. They must have seen the smoke rising. Drop that gun now. What have you done to this man? Why is he tied up? Wait, officer. This man is responsible for the explosion, a murder, and a smuggling operation. He's a member of the Brown Shirts. I have his ID. Is that so? Show it to me. Have a look at this. Gerhard Wagner? The owner of the local bar? That's his cover, officer. He stabbed Father Lenz in cold blood and threatened to kill us. That's a hell of an accusation. Have you found the murder weapon? Yes. You're accusing him of being involved in smuggling, too? He has trafficked goods and people across the border. I got caught up in his operation. Gerhardt lived in Argentina for several years. That's where he established contacts for cheap explosives and military equipment. He smuggled these from South America to Italy. And then his allies moved the goods from Italy to Germany. I see. It was the contraband explosives, officer. Luckily, I managed to defuse another bomb in the cellar. That's where he killed Father Lenz, too. May he rest in peace. Poor Father Lenz. He was a kind man. But why did Gerhard do it? I believe he was trying to intimidate Otto to leave the hotel. So that he could keep the smuggling operation running. He faked his own disappearance to cover his tracks. I see. Father Lenz must have stumbled upon the truth, and that's when Gerhard killed him. And then he got Otto and I in his sights. Anna wanted to call in the police. Otto, please. We've gathered enough proof to bring Gerhard to justice. He's awake! And just in time to face the police. I'm innocent until proven guilty. You've got nothing on me. The evidence we've collected is enough to put you behind bars for a long time. I should have shot you in the beginning. Otto would have come calling back to me, the spineless coward that he is. You know that threatening to kill is a crime, don't you? Oh, please. As if my situation could get any worse. You will be behind bars soon. I've had enough. Gerhard Wagner. You are under arrest for committing crimes against our country. Does cutting the telephone lines count too? Don't get smart with me. Just making sure you're doing this by the book, officer. Now, Otto, you admit your involvement in the smuggling ring? Yes, officer. I'm not proud of it. But I'll face my punishment. You are an honest man, Otto. And without your help, we couldn't have discovered this criminal ring. I believe that the courts will grant you a pardon. The brown shirts, on the other hand, will be punished for their crimes. Now, let's get you to hospital. Thank you, officer. The pain is hard to bear. Do you mind staying here alone, miss? Not at all, officer. I really need some rest. We'll take care of Otto, I promise. Bless your heart, Anna. We'll speak again tomorrow. Okay, I'm ready to go. Otto should be waiting for me in the hall. Otto, good morning. I'm glad to see you're recovering well. Thank you for saving my life, Anna, in more ways than one. Thank you for everything. Otto, you took a bullet to save me. It's me who is in your debt. Oh, Anna, we are quite a team, aren't we? You must stay for dinner. Oh, I'd love to, but I must return to my job. There are rumors about a big case in the city. You know you're always welcome at the hotel, Anna. Thank you, Otto. I promise to visit more often. I know you will miss Father Lenz. He will live long in our memories. The police have connected the dagger to other murders. That's horrible. But we've saved more innocent lives. 
Justice will be served, Anna. Have a safe trip, and farewell. Goodbye, and I do hope we'll meet again soon.